Hello, Collective, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, everybody, I'm back with a lunchtime reading. You guys, I'm really jazzed that you like the lunchtime readings as much as I do because they're really fun. And um, so kick your feet up, right? Take a break, you know, enjoy your lunch while I give you your reading. Um, and stick with me to the end of the video because, you guys, I have a really cute little surprise for you um, that fits right in with the lunchtime reads. Anyway, um, this reading is for the collective, so it may not be for all of you, and that's okay. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind, all right? And thank you so much, everyone, for all of your support, the likes, all of my subscribers, a huge thank you, thank you. Um, everybody who's joined this family, thank you so much for everything, you guys. I really do appreciate you all. All right, so Divine, what messages do you have for my beautiful collective? Yeah, take your shoes off, kick your feet up, it's your break time. And in these readings, remember, I... I not only call out your signs, but I call out what you're having for lunch. So just as an extra um, confirmation for you, okay? All right. Ooh. Okay. So, yeah, um, they're about to speak their truth here. This is, this is a masculine, possibly Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in a third-party situation, okay? They could have other options, like um, two other options on the side, something like that. But they want to come towards you. They just, they just want this one. They want you. And I feel like this person's about to come forward to give you the scoop. I'm kind of getting the sense that they want to communicate here. But they need to tell whoever else they're with that it's over. Okay? And I feel like um, when they come to talk to you, it's almost like, I don't know, I feel like they want you to feel sorry for them. Okay, there's going to be some tears here. Uh, they may come in and start crying about something. I feel like they're going to be telling you, giving you the whole scoop of what's been going on behind the scenes. They could have even gotten into a, um, there could have been a third party situation and they were, be, they were made the third party, right? Uh, this could be speaking or finding out the truth here. Yeah, somebody's got somebody new. Oh, and it's a hot and heavy, um, it's a hot and heavy fling. So I feel like this is, um, yep, yeah, this is a masculine energy that um, has just been cheated on. They've found out that now they're a third party and they're, I feel like it's, it's over. It's just over. Um, whatever they found out here, they could have caught somebody cheating in their own home. Okay, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Yeah, I feel like they caught someone cheating. You could be having grilled cheese for lunch or pizza or a BLT. You could be enjoying some ice cream today. They're coming towards you, collective, here um, to give you some kind of sob story, right? They want you to feel bad for them or it's, it's a pity party. Okay, it's a, it's like the world's smallest violin. Yeah, you're going to see this person as as a dog. Honestly, I feel like you know what, um, they're going to tell you that they were cheated on. They're going to tell you that whoever they chose over you has found someone new. Okay, and it's their main slice. Now, they may even um, tell you that they witnessed somebody here. Um, sleeping in their bed okay but not sleeping if you know what I mean so yeah I feel like they they busted someone in the act and they're gonna come and tell you all of this this person's gonna be crying they may even show up a little bit drunk and I feel like uh, yeah they may have been drinking okay because I'm seeing a beer here um, but um, you're going to see this person as somebody who's just going to come in and play you again, okay? Yeah, they're going to be apologizing. They're going to be crying over this. I feel like, um, I feel like the <clears throat> spirit is out here, the holy one. That's the higher font. 
clarify this, but there's a this person's questionable. Look at the question mark on this toaster. Um, you could be having a hot dog for lunch today. <laughs> I feel like this person has learned a big lesson, but they're coming across all wrong. And this is somebody who has used you in the past. They may even feel used and betrayed here at this point. Okay. Um, but yeah, they're coming in to give you some kind of sob story. And they could be crying here. So the one who used you, the one who used you, because this is being used, okay, um, is coming in very emotional. It's the end to a cycle here. But I feel like this is what they have to do um, in order to close out the cycle properly, because this is the world card in this deck. Okay, you could be um, enjoying some French fries for lunch. You could be a Taurus, Aries, uh, Cancer energy. Your person could be a, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, maybe a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Yeah, they're under a lot of pressure here to come forward and um, open up and tell you how they feel. This is the divine pressuring this person. The universe has been pressuring them to do this for a very long time. And I feel like they missed their shot here. I just get the sense that it's a bit too late and they're coming in to complain and cry over being betrayed in the situation that they chose over you. And that's that's not cool. Um, <clears throat> yeah, this is the king of sides. This is somebody who treated you like a third party, treated you like you were nothing. They're feeling the pressure here collective but they're not coming in correctly they should be coming in with a cup of love and and a legit offer not just giving you the scoop and crying over what just happened to them in this other situation you see what i'm saying yeah you're going to you're going to be like something something's off here this person's a hot mess yeah you're going to see this person doesn't have their act together at all but I feel like they want you to have pity for them. Or I feel like, honestly, I feel like you do. I feel like you do pity this person because they lost you. Because they lost the one person that they could have actually trusted here and chose someone else who was, who was having an affair behind their back. So, yeah, they're laying it on thick, and they're going to tell you everything, okay? But still, it's it's not the right stuff, right? Um, they, they shouldn't be <clears throat> coming in and having a pity party. They should be... Um, they should be telling you how they feel about you and that you're going to be you're going to be sitting here looking at this person just listening to the story thinking in your head the whole time well, I do pity them for this cuz they're doing this way wrong i like they're blowing their chance here even though they're coming in and telling you everything that's been going on they're blowing their chance that way the last thing you want to hear right now is about how heartbroken they are over somebody else and, and how they got cheated on. And especially after this person used you in the first place. You know, it's a mess. You're going to see this as just a big mess. Okay? You are. Um, you could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got heavy on Cancer here. Um... Or maybe they want you to open up to them, right? They want you to have an open heart. But here's the thing. You're just focused. You're focused on your money right now. You're focused on your finances. Um, you're not focused on love with this person at this point. And so, yeah, by, by this time, by the time they come in and, and spill the, the tea, give you the scoop, right? You're going to be like, yeah, no. Yeah, no, I'm over this. I've got bigger things that I'm preparing for. I'm working on my money. I'm working on all of this growth. This is like the, the Nine of Pentacles energy. You're happy being single. 
you're growing something that's financially um, stable and abundant and successful. You could be a boss, business owner, entrepreneur, doing something creative here. You're nurturing something into a success. And this person, though, they want to meet you. Um, this is somebody who is acting like an emperor, okay? Uh, but they've been very stubborn with the burrow. They've been extremely stubborn. And you don't really know what all they've been doing, okay? They've been in separation with you for too long. But yeah, this is someone coming back around here. So you're going to be um, seeing and having a conversation with this person face to face, okay? Uh, they may want to meet you somewhere in public or you may tell them we can only meet in public. Because I feel like you already don't trust this person. I feel like you're also going to get some kind of phone call, text message from them first before they, before they show up. Man, this person's going to lay it on thick. I'm telling you. They are, but only after they complain about the heartache they were put through um, by whoever else they chose. And you're out here in the star energy. That's why they're coming to you. You're a healer. That's why. You're a healer, an empath, um, somebody who's very nurturing, somebody who's got a lot of insight, intuition, spiritual abilities. You're a sweetheart out here. Okay. And yeah, this person, it's almost like they're coming to you like they want you to be some kind of therapist or something. Okay. Maybe that's what you do for work. You know, maybe you are a therapist or a counselor. But that's how they're treating this. You know, they're, they're not really, um, they don't tell you how they feel about you until this, until we get all the way through all of the crap, right? Then they finally tell you how they feel about you and ask if they can heal things with you. And by that time, you're going to be like, you just got done telling me about how heartbroken you are over this third party situation right? I, you're you're going to be like, I don't think so. I, that's the feeling that I'm getting. They want you to pity them, but the problem is, is that you do. You know, um, that's, that's part of the problem, is that you pity this person. And that's what you're going to be sitting there thinking through this whole entire conversation. They lost me over that. They lost me over that? Yeah. Because they, yeah, this is the Knight of Sides. This is the Knight of Wands energy. Okay? Yes. And I feel like if you got with this person, you're not going to be able to trust them. You already don't trust them. I kind of get the sense that you may even feel like um, when you leave from this meeting here, you're gonna, you, you may even feel a bit exhausted. Like, why did I just spend my time on this? You know, this is a mess. Yeah, this is a mess. This person may even show up drunk. Like I said, um, this is somebody who drinks a lot. They've hit bars a lot, you know. Um, yeah, I feel like you're going to see this person as a mess. They're going to definitely want you back, but this conversation's going to be a deal breaker. It is. It's, it's, it's not going to happen. They definitely see you as the one that they want. The one, okay? Um the one that they want to be with. They, they realize they made a big mistake here, but their biggest mistake is finally having an opportunity to talk to you, and all they talk about is what went, went wrong behind the scenes with someone else. Do you see what I'm saying here? It's like, it's like going to meet somebody and then talking about their ex the whole time. That's what this is going to be. When they should be they should be kind of on their knees asking for another chance with you, but they don't do that 
until they get done telling you everything that crying over everything that they just went through with somebody else that's not good okay that's that's not cool so I really feel like you're gonna yeah yeah you're gonna send them away get rolling yep you're gonna send them away um, and if you notice there's a boat here right that's empty I feel like they're not going to be able to get you to calmer waters here after this like not this way especially if they've been drinking yep it's a split it's over it's done and they just lost the one for them classic okay it's gonna be over they should have handled this this a bit more delicately instead of talking about everyone else and everything that happened in their other soulmate connection in this connection do you see what i'm saying and i feel like they tell you everything but they don't handle it the right way they're not sensitive to what um you know um what you're expecting to hear from this person okay and all that they've put you through because you're going to be sitting there thinking, didn't you do that to me, right? Wait a minute here. I'm the one who was bagged, right? I'm the bagged one. You used me before, did, you know, and now you're coming in complaining that it was just done to you? Yeah, this is going to end the situation. I'm telling you, here's another empty boat. You are not going to be healing this with this person after this conversation. Okay, you're not, but this person is coming back around. This is somebody from your past that's coming back around. Okay, so get ready for this communication here, collective, but it's not going to go the way you think. All right, and they're right, though. They want you to pity them, and you will be pitying them. You will be, because they're losing the best thing that they had here. They had a good thing, they lost it, and they got used and, and uh, mistreated and betrayed the same way that they did it to you. Okay? And I feel like you're going to be walking away like, oh, well. You know? That's the feeling that I'm getting here. Um, let's get some advice quick, and then we're going to get into the real treat you know i just think it's cute that's all i've got a surprise for you guys all right what can you show me here um advice for my collective i feel like you're supposed to just kind of hear them out um but this is also going to be part of your clarity right you'll you'll be able to know what happened you know um it's it's like justice and vindication all at once but I feel like you're, and you're not going to feel bad about it. I don't see you, you in your feelings yet. What did I say? Vindication, justice. That's what's coming in. Yeah, but after this, can, after this, you're going to walk away. You're going to walk away. You're going to be like, I'm done. You know what? I'm done. But you'll be getting your clarity. You'll be getting your justice because they'll be coming back and talking to you. You'll be getting vindication because this person would have realized that um they lost the best thing that they had here the one that they could have trusted okay but yeah you, and during the conversation you're going to be like this it's a never ending story you know that's what they're the, this conversation could take a while and they're going to tell you everything about what happened with somebody else and that's how you're going to be thinking, this is just, this is never ending. What did I say about making it make you feel exhausted? It's right there. You know, but um, yeah, and with the 10 here, that's going to end this. It's going to end it. You're already in the energy um, of walking away and releasing this and leaving it behind you. You're already in this energy. And this communication is just going to, it's it's going to sever this connection okay they are just you're going to realize they're not focused on you they're focused on the chaos and conflict and you're going to be like i need to get out of here yeah they're not focused on you they're focused on all of the chaos and all the crap that's going on behind the scenes with them and i feel like they just you know 
they want you to feel bad for them you know yeah you're after this you're gonna have a deep knowing this is not for you and I feel like you, you're going to allow the divine to, um, you're, the divine's trying to lead you here to have a new start. This is like the fool card in this deck, right? Coming to the edge. And you're going to be able to release this now and move forward, right? Trusting that the divine is going to bring you new love. Or wherever they want you to bring, want to bring you, right? They, they, you're gonna allow yourself to be led into a new journey. You're gonna leave this behind, but you are getting your justice. Okay, you'll see that this person's getting their karma. Okay, you are gonna be being vindicated because they are gonna tell you how they feel at the end of the conversation. But you'll be able to release this connection, but I don't see you, um, I don't see, I don't see this connection coming back together. I have to say it. I don't. I don't see you healing anything with this person. I just he see you hearing them out and saying goodbye, and that's it. Oh boy. So get ready, because this person's coming in with a major sob story, and you will pity them. You will. All right, here's your surprise, you guys. I got an actual fortune cookie. I have three of them, so I only have one left, okay? Um, I have to order some more, but I thought this would be great for the end of your lunchtime reading. So let's see what your fortune is for real. I love it. I love it. Okay, are you ready? Oh, there it goes. Okay, your fortune is a good laugh and a good cry both cleanse the mind and that's exactly what's going to happen okay yeah i feel like this person's going to have a good cry you may end up in the end having a good laugh over this okay because you're like i don't you know what i'm over it right um and it's it both of it um this whole entire conversation is going to bring you justice and vindication okay um, and you're going to be able to release it. You're going to be able to move forward here. Um, yeah, away from all the chaos. But you're going to realize they, listen, the same thing they did to you just happened to this person. That's your justice. Them coming to you to talk to you and finally telling you how they feel, that's your vindication. And that's going to allow you to release having all of that clarity this is the end to a cycle okay anyway collective listen that's what i've got for your lunchtime reading i do hope this helps i hope it resonates with you um like and subscribe oh wait let's see what the other side is let's see what your lucky numbers are before you go bean sprout okay i feel like something new is coming right something new is coming in and it's gonna grow um, lucky numbers are 32, 12, 29, 35, 3, and 45. Okay, so that's what you got for today's reading. Anyway, my beautiful collective, thank you so much for joining me. Like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.